Be happy in the moment. That's enough. Each moment is all we need, not more. Mother Teresa. Hi guys, welcome, welcome back. And I forgot that I won a prize on crocheting agreements pie anniversary party or monetization part. I don't remember what it was called, but it was a fun game. And I forgot I won, but I got it. Let's see what it is. Honestly, I don't remember what I won, but I won something. I'm gonna open it on camera. If I can, give me a minute. Still going. Wow, you guys, look at this. How pretty is that? I'm gonna take it out of the bag. Because it's so pretty. And it has sparkles. Look at that. It's like a reddish brown with some pinks. And the colorway is. Thank you, Sunita. What? How cool is that? So this is a one weight and it is 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 400 millimeters and 438 yards. I'm still shocked and surprised, but let me finish reading off the specs. 75% superwash merino wool. 25% nylon and 5% stellina, which is the sparkles. I love it. And it's so soft. And I kind of want to start it now. I think I am. I'll make something very nice with this. 438 yards. What can I make with this? But I'll surprise you. I'll come back and show you what I make. So I'm going to take it off the hank. Did you figure out what I started? I'm already on row seven. It's working out pretty nice. I'm using a 3.75 hook, which where did the tag go? I don't know. It's a tiny hook. So, here it is, caked up. Where did it go? I'm gonna see how much I actually use for this. Do you know what it is? See this, folks? And it's so glittery, I love it. But yeah, I'm just going to work on this. This will be my project for the day. I still have to finish the cow poncho, which let me show you real quick. I said a cow poncho. It's a cow scarf. No, a hooded scarf. But right now it looks like a cow. I'm me pull it out a little bit. So the hooded part. It's got, it's got to be way bigger, like over the hood, up to here. But here it is. Actually, let me put it on. I hope I don't lose any stitches. 
but I started with the what I wanted the double crochet and then half double crochet in the third loop and then a double crochet and then I didn't like it so I then started with my extended single the extended single and then the um, single crochet I did that for like three rows No, four rows. And then I woke up the next day and I was like, I want to do hag stitch. So then I did the hag stitch from here to here. And then I'm like, it's taking too long. So I did the hag stitch similar, but with double crochet. And then I was like, I don't like how that's turning out. So then I'm still doing the ha hag but why is it called hag? Anyway, I'm now I'm doing single crochet. So I'm just gonna finish that up to the stitch marker. And then I don't know what else I'm gonna do. The TV's on, that's why there's lights flashing. Um, but I put it on mute. <laughs> so watching General Hospital. So I'm gonna work on this. Get back to that sparkly. This yarn is so sparkly. Look at it. Can you see the sparkles? I really want to work on that instead of this. But for this one, um, when I go to make the one in the cloud cakes, I already know what I'm going to do. I'm already going to change up the stitch. And this is how far it's gotten. Actually, let me take these stitch markers off. And my row counter. I'm still like in awe at how creative people are. And so smart. This is my peace sign one. I love it. But basically, I've used three skeins so far just to make this. I had to scoot up. Basically, it goes like this. It's like a scarf. And the cover is pretty nice. But this part here it's supposed to go up and over so I still have a lot more of this to make but it's supposed to bunch up here I mean I could leave it just like this and be a cow but I'm gonna do the pattern justice and just basically finish it up it's got I, I have like probably 12 more inches of this to do but I got up find a stitch that works up fast that's not a double crochet because I don't like how the double crochet is got hold. I don't know my mind is just running I got things to do but this is super warm and thick and this is the merino and the cloud cakes is like a polyester Either way, it's gonna be pretty. This is really, really warm. And I don't know if I'm gonna do the fringe. Only because if I wear this in the winter time, I'll have it under my coat, so. It'll be gonna get stuck in the zipper or something, so. No fringe, just to be like this. And then, since I still have, well, I've used three so far for just this. I know for sure to finish the hood, I would have to use another skein, but I still have four more um, skeins of this because I had eight all together. So maybe a headband, 
or it's never gonna have a hood so I think a headband will be sufficient sufficient enough for it that's it for right now I'm gonna go back to my sparkly yarn so thank you Melissa for my surprise giveaway prize and um, I appreciate you and all your beautiful artwork again if you want to see it it's so pretty so I'm gonna work on that probably work on this a little bit I need to find a stitch for the cloud cake so I don't get bored of it so thanks for hanging out guys so sorry I haven't been on the streets today but I was spending time with family and there's been a lot going on with me physically and mentally that you know it is what it is for the next two weeks I'm gonna probably be MIA but I will keep you informed of what I make so thank you again for watching love yourself so you can love everyone else and I love you oh yeah and kindness is cool so be kind bye <laughs>